As I mentioned, for the second time in the last week, that the valley has seen some monsoon activity. And <sighs> I was telling April earlier, you almost forget how powerful these things are. And Those then they winds hit. Those were crazy. Like, yes, and I can almost feel the dust still. The storm moving through really fast. Before you know it, it is gone. Erin, joining us live in Phoenix this morning with a look at some damage left behind. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, guys. Yeah, not as much damage reported from yesterday as what, what we saw last week, but we were able to find this. Check this out. The front just facade of this building just came crashing down into this parking lot. We're still working, though, to find out if, in fact, it was those strong winds that April mentioned, 50 to 60 miles per hour seen in Phoenix and Glendale that brought this down. But depending on where you were in the valley, Things were different. You may have seen dust. You may have seen rain. You may have experienced the wind. In fact, in Maricopa, a viewer actually captured a dust storm where you can actually see the plume kind of traveling, moving closer into their view. And also some drivers got caught in a dust storm while they were kind of moving along on the 101. And in Gilbert, we did get an up close look at the wind and the rain kind of whipping around in this backyard, kind of tossing these trees back and forth. And lastly, the wind created some major waves at Tempe Town Lake. A viewer sending us that video and even saying that she actually experienced and saw some people out there risking being out in the water at that time again. There's police tape surrounding this area. We're working to find out from Phoenix police the condition of this building or this side of the building if it is condemned and if in fact it was the wind that ended up bringing it down. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Erin Laveau for Arizona's Family. All right, Erin, thanks so much for the update.